meteorologist Jamie Warner. It was a bright blue day across the Ozarks, but you might have noticed a little bit of high cloud and is sneaking in just before sunset. That's what we've got out there right now. Mostly starry skies. Those high clouds actually made for a beautiful sunset. Here's the picture to prove it. This sent in by Rhonda. This is from Stockton, Missouri, and you can see those high clouds streaming in there. We're going to find more of that tomorrow. Tomorrow looks like a mostly sunny to partly sunny day, but still a beautiful spring day across the Ozarks. Temperatures tonight, uh, not that cold. Right now we're looking at readings in the low to mid 60s, currently 66 in Springfield. Here's the reason why they're not going to drop all that much tonight. Uh, temperatures are, are going to get mixed around uh, as air may try to cool off near the surface. It's going to get mixed with warmer air just off the surface, and that's going to keep temperatures a lot more tolerable than what we've seen the last few nights with overnight lows generally in the 50s. In fact, it looks like middle 50s for us here in Springfield. I mentioned that next storm on the map. There it is making its way toward the coastline of Oregon and California. It looks like it will be a troublemaker for the midsection of the country and also the hard hit deep south as uh, we uh, work through the back end of this work week. The next couple of days though look quiet though. Uh, right now we're looking again at mostly clear skies. Those breezy southerly winds will continue overnight tonight. They will continue tomorrow and just like this afternoon they're probably going to get rather gusty during the afternoon with gusts over 30 miles per hour. A possibility temperatures though you're going to love them back up near 80 for a high temperature tomorrow afternoon tonight 54 for the low in Springfield. It will be a bit cooler here across South Central Missouri, North Central Arkansas, or south of I-44, where winds will stay lightest overnight tonight. Tomorrow, we'll find temperatures warming generally to, if not just above the 80 degree mark north of I-44. I think we're going to get real close to 80 here in Springfield. Areas to the south of I-44 will generally top out in the upper 70s. Looking at the pattern toward the middle of the week, we've got two days where the Gulf of Mexico is going to be sending moisture northward. That moisture plays into the amount of instability that will be available ahead of this next storm. The warmth will certainly be there, and there will be plenty of wind energy that will come with that storm. So with all that said, we're going to have to watch out for the risk of severe weather, and there will be a broad area that will be dealing with the risk of severe weather on Wednesday into Wednesday night. I think locally for us in the Ozarks, we're going to stay capped throughout the day on Wednesday. What does that mean? That means we're going to stay quiet throughout the day on Wednesday. I think our severe weather threat will come overnight Wednesday night, uh, as it looks like we will likely find at least one line of thunderstorms developing to our northwest and maybe additional thunderstorms surging northeast out of Oklahoma. This is Wednesday night. With that activity, I do think we're probably at the very least going to see a few severe storms. Right now, it looks like hail and maybe damaging winds would be the primary modes, but it's also a scenario given the instability where we can't rule out maybe an isolated tornado threat as well. We're also going to see another soaking rainfall with a half an inch to an inch and a half of rain likely locally more possible. And then in the wake of uh, the storms Wednesday night, and I do expect them to move, be moving east of the area by sunrise on Thursday, a much cooler day on Thursday with a continuing risk for a few showers. Take a look at the numbers again near 80 Tuesday, upper 70s Wednesday, and then it looks like readings are going to drop into the 40s, upper 40s uh, Thursday morning with some recovery back into the 50s, maybe by Thursday afternoon. Cool and mostly sunny on Friday. Gorgeous Easter weekend with sunny skies and mid 70s on Saturday. And I think for Easter Sunday, we're going to be up near 80 for a high. Expect it to be dry with the next chance for rain holding off until Monday of next week. Well, you can really tell after that rain over the weekend how much more green yeah. everything is. The lawns are really starting to sprout and yeah, with all I, the sunshine Which includes too. the weeds. It too. does. Yeah. 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 I, I saw that yesterday. It was like after the weekend rain and snow Sunday mm -hmm. morning. Mm -hmm. Yesterday afternoon, everything was so vibrant. All the colors were so much more they rich. Were. Yeah. Were. How about our viewers club number? Uh, looking at that tonight, here it is, 149-687. Our jackpot stands at $1,100. Maybe somebody will get rich with that number tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm.